kids! How are you today? Are you now excited to learn another English lesson? Well, that's great! Our lesson today is all about major points and key things. Let's begin! Every story has different elements. It has characters, settings, and events. These significant details play important roles in understanding the story. Aside from these story elements, stories also give specific major points and key themes. As a reader, it is necessary that you are able to identify the major points and key themes shown in each story. So in this lesson, you are expected to identify major points and key themes. Okay, so let us read a story about the studious pupil. Anthony is a studious pupil. He performs well in school. He gets good grades in almost of his subjects. In school, he listens well to his teacher. He also actively participates in school discussions. At home, he reads a lot of books during his free time. He also does his assignments. He prepares his projects before the deadline. He studies well to serve as a good example to other pupils. He also wants to achieve his dreams someday. The selection studious pupil um, tells us that Anthony is a studious pupil as he studies well in school and at home. So that is the major point in the selection. Meanwhile, it also tells that studying well can help one get good grades and be successful in life. So that is the theme in the selection. Now let us have another selection here. The title of the selection is My Cat. Let me read it to you first. I have a cat named Floppy. I thought her lots of tricks. When I call her, she comes to me immediately. She also massage my back even if I don't tell her to. When I say sleep, she will close her eyes and pretend to be sleeping. I couldn't believe that a cat like her would be that smart. Now, what is the major point of the paragraph? Is it A, Floppy is a cat? B, Floppy can do tricks? Or C, Floppy is smart? What is your answer? If your answer is letter C, Floppy is smart, then you are correct. What about what is the best key theme of the story? Is it A. Cats are smart animals? B. Cats are tricky animals? Or C. Cats are sleepy animals? Right now your answer! If your answer is A, cats are smart animals, then you are right. So, we are going to read another paragraph, then identify what each item tells. Carabaos help farmers in plowing the field. They give us milk and meat. The story is about blend. A. Farmers B. Carabaos or C. Meat What is your answer? If your answer is B. Carabaos, then you are correct. So in this paragraph, this story is all about Carabaos. The Carabaos help farmers in plowing the field and they give us milk and meat. Another paragraph. A 
Emma and Roy go to school every day. After school, they help their parents in doing household chores. Emma washes the dishes while Roy sweeps the floor. The paragraph is about the blank. Is it A. Honest children? B. Helpful children? Or C. Polite children? Write now your answer. If your answer is B, helpful children, then you are right. So in this paragraph, Emma and Roy help their parents in doing household chores. So the paragraph is all about helpful children, which is Emma and Roy. So what do we mean by major points or main idea? Major points or main idea is the main point of a paragraph in a story so when we say main point it is the main idea or the central thoughts that tells the reader what the text is all about when summarizing a paragraph it is most likely a one sentence major point what about the key themes so, key themes is a facts or statements that bind the main ideas of the story. They provide the central idea of the whole story. In every story, our goal is to get or understand its major point. Or the message or the lesson learned about the story. In coming up with a key theme, you have to take note of the major or the main ideas so in most um, selection or stories the theme is not stated directly rather it is told to us throughout the characters attitudes and experiences so um, you must read very closely or read between the lines to discover out the theme of the text so here are some examples of the key themes be honest be humble friendship it's better to give than to receive always be strong all things are possible with god and respect our parents so here are just some of the key themes that can be found in the story now that you already learned how to identify the major points and the key themes in the story let us try to answer these activities so let us have the first one title of the story is the bats some kinds of bats eat many insects some bats can eat up to 1,000 small insects in one hour they are helpful to the environment they help us by eating insects without them we would have many insects in the environment okay from the paragraph above what do you think is the major point of the story so you have to take note that the major point it is what the story is all about all right so is it a bats or mammals b bats can eat up to 1000 insects in one hour or c bats help in controlling the population of insects is your answer all right so if your answer is letter C then you are correct so the major point of the story is bats help in controlling the population of the insects so that is what the story is all about Okay, so from the same selection, what do you think is the key theme of the story? B. Bats' favorite food Or C. Bats' contribution to nature You may now write your answer Alright, the correct answer is letter C Of course, the key theme of the story is 
bats contribution to nature another selection okay. and the title is cold weather one day hannah walked outside with her small pink jacket but even if she was wearing one she still felt very cold she looked at her phone and noticed that it was 15 degrees outside it was indeed cold due to amian she was chilling so she decided to go back inside what do you think is the major point of the story a it was very cold outside b she wore pink jacket or c hannah went outside with her friends what is your answer If your answer is A, then you are correct. So the major point of the story is, it was very cold outside. So, so the story is all about the cold weather outside. Alright? What about the key theme of the story? What is the key theme of the story? Is it A, cold weather makes us sleepy? B, cold weather tells us to wear a jacket? Or C, cold weather prevents us from going outside. What is your answer? If your answer is letter C, then you are right. The key theme of the story or the message of the story is cold weather prevents us from going outside. So we need to remember that the major points of the story deal with what the story is all about. Meanwhile, the key themes explain the central idea that a story tells. And these two elements are both important in understanding a story or selection. So thank you so much for watching and see you in our next lesson. Bye-bye!